All right, why are they becoming so unhinged? Check this out, guys. Between Dr. Garth Davis and Sean Baker, aside from all the science that's being presented, can we not see that these carnivore people look so ill? Why are they all red and bloaty looking? It's just gross. You know what else is gross? Eating bacon and eggs for breakfast. Bacon and eggs. Ugh. It just seems a little like, it's just dickish, you know? Like dick-like, like a dick-like move. Carnivore diet expert. My narcissism doesn't allow me to consider the possibility that I could be entirely wrong and I'm putting other people's lives at risk. I'm a carnivore diet expert. I sniff my friend's butts as a greeting and devour the babies of my rivals. All right, so I don't, I'm not sure who the first lady was. I, I, I don't know anything about her, but I mean, clearly uh, she is very upset uh, by the fact that people are eating meat and presumably getting better. The second guy I've seen before, is, he calls himself a uh, hench herbivore, you know, implying that he's somehow really big and strong or something like that. My understanding is he has had to resort to taking performance enhancing drugs. Uh, he's had some real significant battles with his health, uh, like having real problems with kidneys, being hospitalized for that, and recently maybe even having his gallbladder being having to remove, you know, after years of eating his so-called low-fat vegan diet. And, you know, you know, as these people increasingly uh, sort of rely on insults and, and just sort of what appears to be unhinged ranting. Why might that be? Well, I think it is because of the fact that carnivore continues to grow and grow and grow and more and more people are demonstrating success on this. And so uh, they are having a harder and harder time. Their cognitive dissonance is starting to show and it's really upsetting to these people so that they have to result to what anybody does it cannot sustain a reasonable discussion they start resulting you know they start relying on insults and other type of you know what appears to be unhinged behavior um, you know what i would suggest is for you guys that are on a carnivore diet continue sharing your story Con continuing sharing your results good or bad you know just i mean the information needs to get out there and let people decide we don't want authoritarians telling us what we can and cannot do you know i don't care if you eat vegan diet. i don't care if you eat a mediterranean diet a carnivore diet an animal based diet it's up to you as it should be and don't let people's insults or uh sort of their biases influence that again all of us should be able to make our own decision when it comes to our own health that is one thing we have personal sovereignty and freedom over you know we should have the choice to take a medication or not take a medication we should have a choice to consume certain food or not consume certain food and you know f them if they can't if they don't like it that's that's my my thought on this so anyway um are you guys seeing what i'm seeing a continued i mean we see this also among the sort of the learned elite where oh my gosh these people are so upset about people are actually finding things so things out for themselves and they're not relying on the trusty experts pokes to, to to take care of their health good on you guys people keep fighting we're we're winning this war guys and i think we're going to continue to do that so i'm going to have a couple stakes uh hopefully you guys have a great day we'll talk to you soon bye-bye